at the time is about 7.30 in the morning and normally I will be picking up uh, builders to come and help us with our work here but no we're still in the tent and Eunice has come to join mummy and daddy in bed <laughs> how are you Eunice? good what's going on outside why are we still in bed? because it's raining it's raining it's raining cats and dogs it is so heavy rain we've had big thunder lightning and I, I, I don't even want to look outside <laughs> well you can't see it very well on camera but you can certainly hear it and that is a lot of rain and hard slightly easing off or is it or is it oh I don't know that is a lot of, of water it's the most amount of rain I think since I was in Florida many many years ago around the same time as Hurricane Charlie and, uh, and there was a lot of heavy rain. <laughs> so we've got a solution for bags of sand and, and rocks. We've got Pasquale on his bike. <laughs> that is a very heavy bag. <laughs> Navigating the, the pipe and the bumps. Here he comes. And all the way up there. So we've got a lot of construction going on. We've got piles of ballast and sand and cement and a concrete mixer over there. We've got a tractor digging the holes for the footings, for the foundations to go in. Um, I've been up there sorting out some kind of kind of grey water system, uh, while another chap's been helping clear all the weeds. Uh, grey water system for washing our clothes and draining away water, uh, waste water. Oh yeah, and I installed electric cable. That's that line going across there. Lots going on today. So Rene made that little table using a couple of branches and a plank of wood and uh, made it exactly the right size for our stirrups. For the rebar that's going together, look at that. Another homemade thing. <laughs> and they're putting it together. That's the first column going together, that's exciting. So we're digging out these big holes. Normally the tractor digs it. But there's five of us, we're taking it in turns. You have to start with the pickaxe because it's so tough and durable. And well, we call it duro. It's hard at the top. In the bottom, it's a bit softer, it's a bit easier. One and a half meters deep, one meter 30, I think, uh, square. Okay, Eunice, which seed are you putting on? And um, green beans. Yeah, we are putting green beans. Which seed are you putting, Amelia? Kimber! Yay! <laughs> Kimber! Hello, guys. Hello, girls. Hello. Hola, Eduardo. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Bien. <laughs> Mi niñas, ayuda, ayúdate. Ajá. Sí. sí. Muy bueno. No, eh? Rápido trabajo con las niñas. Sí, más rápido. <laughs> más rápido. <laughs> So today is Juni's birthday, she's saying, and we have here, oh, look at that, Juni's Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> okay, so I'm buying some rebar. This is six mil rebar. And this chap is also buying rebar. I'm gonna put it on my trailer. <laughs> this guy's attached it to his motorbike. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anything is possible in Bolivia. And here he goes. Six meters long, that is. So, this is a concrete mixer. This is Daniel. How are you doing, Daniel? Está bien? Está bien. <laughs> A uh, big part of cement. That was 50 bags. It's probably only 25 now. Really reduced. And we've been actually doing the foundation. Check this out. We marked up all the land here. With fishing wire, we marked the land out. <laughs> Missed somebody out. Como esta? <laughs> all the workers getting involved. That's what we like. This is the column. And that's a massive footing and uh, yeah that, that's gonna be total height of the room normal height of rooms here is three meters and me being tall I thought that's pretty decent that is Come on, start, isn't it? <laughs> so we're here with Annalie's grandma who's 92 and she remembers me from uh, seven and a half years ago she remembers giving me something to put on my mosquito bites which was a combination of uh, um, uh, coffee and and a mushroom so a special mix um, to help reduce the inflammation and to hear my, my little bites and she was just telling us how she remembers giving me that. The last time we saw her she was dancing um, still. Now she's probably not dancing as much. <laughs> she's walking with a stick but she's still doing well and she 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 needs glasses now as well but but she's doing really good. 92 so we celebrate that. So this area there was a pond there um, but it was stagnant mostly. It was running out a little bit but it was so many mosquitoes and, and we wanted to, to empty it and the big problem we've got here is uh, we want to create a recreation area for kids or something here we're not exactly entirely sure what we'll, we'll create here but we will put grass here once it's all flattened but you can see there's lots of water still here this whole area here there's little springs that, that are coming out of the ground here and so we need to create some sort of system here for the water to to gather and then to flow down and out yes that is my legs and i've got very long legs and I was up to my knees the other day in mud. Um, this wall, this area is completely waterlogged. And um, it's because up there, that area seeps water all day long. And we're trying to combat the water from this becoming a swamp. Hello, love. <laughs> How are you feeling? No. No, dear. <laughs> careful, be careful. Hey. Oh, well done. You know what? This is like being in the gym all day. <laughs> It's a different kind of tiredness you feel after the That is heavy! Ooh la la! So we're working at night because there's stuff that we're building. You can't just leave it, you have to finish the job before you can go home and go to sleep. It's got lights up everywhere on the building site and we're working into the night. Very hard workers, really hard workers these guys, really amazing and uh, fantastic to have them to have them all as a team so we've got René and Osvaldo, como esta? Bien. Bien. bien o cansado? 
<laughs> These guys have been working like crazy all day pretty much and now it's probably gone half past eight at night I expect and we're, we're putting in the beams and we're nearly there but it's been a long long day walking in the sunshine walking in the rain walking with Jesus today well, we hope you really enjoyed that update video. It's brought you nearly up to date, maybe one week behind where we're actually at with the property. Uh, the weather's bad, so I'm in my tent now. Um, and we, we, we've been living in a tent for about three or four months now, and we really don't take anything for granted. Uh, a lot of people in Bolivia, they don't have um, facilities where they live. They might have a solid roof over their head, but they might not have a proper shower or a proper toilet. and they might not be able to eat every day because they might not have enough money. And we really are feeling um, in our heart how, how tough life is for a lot of people out here. And that's why we're here. We came here to help people. We came here to provide accommodation for children and love for children that don't have parents or that are on the street because of abuse or because of other situations, mums and dads uh, maybe passing away. Um, but they've, they've ended up on the street um, and a lot of them they might be a part of a gang they might be they might some of them might be doing drugs even from a very young age but well, we've come here to help those people but we need to be established first ourselves before we can do that we need to have somewhere where where we feel safe and secure where we can then work from and then uh, register with the relevant authorities to then provide accommodation and become uh, a family for those children and not only that we want to become a place where other people can come and do missions so if you've got a heart for South America if you've got a heart for kids on the street if you've got a heart for even the elderly there was an old man I helped the other day on the street um, didn't have my camera to film it unfortunately but if you've got a heart to come here and do mission then you can come out and stay with us and work with us and there'll be an opportunity in the future if you want to come out as parents to parent children to come out and build a cabana which is like a small house and you can come out and parent children and be in family and live here on the land there's space that we're preparing to do that um, it's a massive massive project it's a big vision and we need your help. We came out here, we sold everything that we had in the UK to be here to do this. It was a big step of faith. We knew we didn't have all the resources. We knew that we would need fundraising and all of the rest of it to help us fulfill this project. But we need your help. So if you'd love to get involved, if you'd love to donate or do fundraising in any way or in any form and help us, um, then please do get in touch. There's also a link if you want to donate underneath this video. Um, things in the next few weeks will possibly change in terms of our web pages. We've got a company who's volunteered to help us with a specific website for Mission Bolivia, which is amazing. So some of those pages might change in the next few weeks, but the link will still work. So God bless from Bolivia and thank you to those who've already been helping and supporting us so far. Your help is going a long way. Much love. Bye.